Hey guys, Torx17 here, coming at you with another episode of Star Citizen 101. What we're going to be talking about today is a game mode that doesn't get much love anymore, and that's Capture the Core. When Arena Commander first dropped, Capture the Core was actually a pretty popular game mode, and with the implementation of racing and racing ships, it kind of killed the action in Capture the Core, because you really couldn't compete with ships like the Hornet, or some of, you know, 300i, some of the slower ships, because people would just come into the game with racing ships, pick up the core, and just burn you. So over time, people lost interest in the game mode and stopped playing it. Personally, I really like the game mode. It's a really good change of pace from games like Squadron Battle or Battle Royale. And I've even tried to bring back the game mode a little bit on my stream by sort of changing the rules and only inviting players into private matches where you know slower ships are only allowed to carry the core each team is balanced based on their ship's speed so people can't just run away with the core and burn you it's about protecting the core carrier who's actually one of the slower ships in game and creating this interesting dynamic it's been really fun but there still isn't quite that interest built up in it and uh i would love to see CIG kind of take some of the ideas that I've had and maybe implement them into Capture the Core instead of just saying, hey, we give you more rental equipment credits if you play this game mode. But that's enough of that, so let's get right into it and teach you guys about Capture the Core. All right, so we find ourselves in the hangar again, and what we're going to do to get to Capture the Core is head over to our sim pod, press F when the Use option comes up, Wait for the Arena Commander icon to pop up. Click it. Spectrum Match, since Capture the Core is a multiplayer game only, we'll go for a public match. And this one, I'm going to choose Dying Star. I just want to switch it up. There's Capture the Core. It's the second game there. I already have my Anvil Hornet all set up and ready to go except the video that you're going to see is actually a staged match. And the reason that it had to be staged is because I could not get a public match to save my life. So I wanted to be able to show you all the combat awards as well as just some basic gameplay. So me and the stream staged a little match one day after the stream was over. And that's the video that you're gonna see. So. There's going to be a lot of ships just standing still and dying and stuff like that. It's really unfortunate that we couldn't get a real game for you guys, but again, I do really think this is a really good game mode and do check it out. So we'll go ahead and click launch. And now we're in a match. All right, let's go over the basics of Capture the Core. It's essentially capture the flag in space. It's a team-based game where you and your squad attempt to secure an opposing team's core while defending your own. The core locations or flags are located on either side of the map where the opposing team's flag is colored in orange and your flag or your base is labeled in that tealish blue. When you return the enemy's core to your own base, while your core is still present, you score a point. So that means that your flag needs to be present at your location when you return the other team's flag. If the other team has your flag, you can't score a point. When you, your teammates, or the enemy team captures the core, drops it, or returns it to their base and scores a point, everyone in the match is notified. If you are destroyed while you hold the core, it drops where you died and can be picked up by a teammate or returned to their base by the opposing team simply by flying through it. Games are played to five scores. Time limit is 20 minutes. And as of 1.1.4 and 1.1.5 builds, there are four players per team, eight players total in a match, 
ammo replenishes on respawns and respawns are unlimited. Combat rewards are as follows. They have all combat rewards from Battle Royale and Squadron Battle, as well as a few others. Core Defender. Core Defender is awarded when you kill an enemy within a radius of your core. Carrier Defender. Awarded if the enemy you kill had damaged your team's core carrier in the last few seconds. Steel Assist. Awarded if you are in the radius of the enemy core when a teammate takes it. Capture Assist. Awarded if you are in the radius of the enemy core when a teammate captures it or if you carried the scored core at any point previously and dropped it. Pick up enemy core. This is when you capture the enemy's core. If you are not damaged before you capture the enemy core, you can also tag on the untouchable award for 100 points. Return core. This is when you return your core to your base when the enemy has dropped it. Captured enemy core, or essentially a score, is when you capture the enemy's core and bring it to your base while your core is still present there. Carrier kill. This is when you kill the enemy carrying the core. Again, Capture the Core is an extremely fun game mode when you have enough people playing it and you can get into matches consistently and stuff like that. I really hope this video kind of opens your eyes to Capture the Core. Maybe we can get more action in it in the future. But with that said, I think that's it for this video, guys. So if you like this video, please like it. If you do not, you know which button to hit. If you're looking for more videos like this in the future, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you haven't checked out my Twitch stream, head over to twitch.tv slash torque17, and I will see you guys next time.